How Nokia lost its world market dominant position has been the subject of much debate. Is it a, a, an issue of stronger competitors? Is it an issue that Nokia did not have the right strategy? Or is it an issue that Nokia cannot execute its strategy? Joining us to explore this issue is uh, uh, Mr. Odipeka Kalsvio, a former chief executive officer of Nokia. Odipeka, welcome to INSEA. Thank you. Odipeka, you experienced a very disturbing and disruptive period during the history of Nokia while you were uh, the CEO. Can you describe to us what it was like to face the competitive market dynamics during your time? Boy, yes, uh, there, was, there was plenty of uh, disruption and, uh, and, and turmoil mm -hmm. in my time as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think it uh, basically so relates to the fact never before in business history mm -hmm. has the competitive mm -hmm. environment mm -hmm. changed as much mm -hmm. as it did in the converging industry of mobile communication, mm -hmm. internet, mm -hmm. uh, computers, etc. Mm -hmm. uh, at around 2006, 7 and 8. Mm -hmm. And for everybody who was playing in any of these industries, mm -hmm. these were really important, difficult mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and also volatile times. Mm -hmm. and, and Nokia definitely got, got, it, uh, got its fair, fair, <laughs> fair mm -hmm. uh, s share of the, of, the, of the volatility and change. With the benefit of hindsight, there were strong competitors like uh, Apple, Google, Samsung, and uh, we talk about the, you know, the near decline of uh, rim with the Blackberry as well. Were you able to predict what would, what would be happening with the trends in the markets? Well, I guess nobody is uh, uh, able to predict uh, mm -hmm. that volatile environment. But uh, you mentioned Google and Apple, or mm -hmm. Apple and Google, it mm -hmm. does not matter in, in what order. Mm -hmm. uh, these are good examples of players who had been very strong in uh, some industries that uh, were outside the mobile communications mm -hmm. and who suddenly enter Mm -hmm. And in fact, uh, in a matter of a couple of years only, become market leaders mm -hmm. in an industry mm -hmm. where they have never been before. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that's unique in, in, in the business history of the world. Mm -hmm. And uh, in fact, but I in fact believe that you know, if you look at the, the world, the business world, especially, especially some volatile industries that mm -hmm. we do have now, mm -hmm. and pa the pace of change mm -hmm. will continue. And there's nobody who can predict uh, mm -hmm. everything that happens. So you raise many intriguing points, um, such as the notion of timing, the notion of strategy execution. So we would like to explore that more deeply uh, about, uh, about those aspects. What challenges or dilemmas that you're facing with people in your organization uh, in order to, to make your organization move faster? Was, did, you, did you believe you have the right strategy? No. Yeah, in fact, I, I, I believe, and I have to believe, but I, I sincerely believe mm -hmm. that, the, that the strategy at that point of time mm -hmm. was correct. Mm -hmm. uh, we did have to give it a try. Execution very often was, was difficult. Mm -hmm. Some people, skills were sometimes missing. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you have to acquire them. Yeah. And, uh, and in, in fact, as always in business, execution eventually is the key. Mm -hmm. You can sometimes manage with great execution, even if your strategy is flawed, mm -hmm. but if, you're, if, you're, if, if your execution does not succeed, mm -hmm. even a good strategy is worthless. Mm -hmm. yeah. and, and of course, uh, strategy execution always, or implementation, you need to be able to, to, to have everybody contributing. It sometimes is difficult in a big, successful organization to Mm -hmm. to to have the sense of urgency mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. and hunger mm -hmm. because no company in fact uh, can uh, can defend only mm -hmm. if, if you've got a high market share mm -hmm. you are market leader mm -hmm. if you start defending mm -hmm. you cannot yes you cannot sustain mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. And then I think as CEO, you are faced with at least two major pressures. 
One is from the external. You know, that I guess you must be sensing the the pressures for performance and for for financial performance from investors for share prices, and um, and one hand how to implement the strategy to make the major changes inside the organization. What kind of tensions? Can you describe the tensions that you were experiencing during that time? Sometimes, really your organization does not understand mm -hmm. the different dri drivers that uh, come from that pressure. Mm -hmm. uh, for instance, a certain market is uh, something that the shareholders might feel mm -hmm. is extremely important uh, mm -hmm. uh, to have a position there. Mm -hmm. and, and some of your employees might question why is that so important? Because mm -hmm. we've got other markets as well and so forth. Mm -hmm. and, and, mm -hmm. and, and being uh, laying, laying the, being able to to bridge these uh, different types types of sort of constituencies together mm -hmm. in the right way, it's always a challenge. But of course, communication is is needed, and yeah. and, and communicate, yeah. communicate, communicate. That's of course needed as well. Yeah. But at the same time, yeah. uh, big uh, successful organizations are very slow to change. Mm -hmm. uh, they are there, there's a, there are lots of vested interests. Mm -hmm. uh, people are starting easily to defend their position. Mm -hmm. Some people are even starting to track their feet, mm -hmm. knowing change might hurt me or mm -hmm. my position or mm -hmm. my my uh, my department's position. Mm -hmm. And uh, communication very often uh, falls short. Mm -hmm. People just uh, listen, but uh, they don't hear you. Mm -hmm. And uh, and so very often, unfortunately, it's my experience in business. Mm -hmm. a, a real crisis mm -hmm. is uh, needed, or at least helps mm -hmm. <laughs> in yeah. the communication effort. Because when people feel that you know yeah. this is this is really a problem, yeah. this is really a situation where yeah. everybody must act. Yeah. Before that, sheer words yeah. are very often not enough, and mm -hmm. and, and that's an unfortunate. Yeah fact of life. Yeah. I, I, I very often used to say at Nokia that you know, in order for organizations to change, you need either a ca charismatic leader or a crisis. And I said, at least we have a crisis. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, the paradox I'm reflecting aloud here with you is, is that unfortunately, when you have to wait for a crisis to initiate change, sometimes you don't have enough time or enough resources to overcome the crisis if it's become very serious. Yeah. Right. What, what, what would you be a well, thought on that? Of course, uh, I, I need to say and at least stress that, yeah. you know, of course, one cannot wait for the crisis. Yeah. Uh, uh, you, of course, need to act and, act and, and, yeah. and tell and, 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 and show example and yeah. so forth. Yeah. May make people realize there's a crisis even mm -hmm. before the crisis hits. Mm -hmm. uh, I think if, if somebody loses his or, his or her position because mm -hmm. of non-performance, mm -hmm. I think that's sometimes a very healthy message mm -hmm. in, the, in a company. Yeah. And, and, and examples, be them positive or negative, you know, will always help. Re reflecting backward, um, what lessons would you like to share in the areas of strategy, strategy execution, people management, to future managers or CEOs? When it comes to strategy implementation as, as such, I, I, I more and more believe in, in setting uh, targets that are clear mm -hmm. and even measurable, mm -hmm. and, uh, and then following what is happening mm -hmm. and what is really happening in real terms, mm -hmm. as opposed to defining soft targets mm -hmm. uh, that are opinion based. Mm -hmm. My experience mm -hmm. is uh, the targets need to be something that everybody can understand. Yeah. It was achieved or not, mm -hmm. and, uh, and and people also enjoy that. And, mm -hmm. and if you if you if the if then your incentives, uh, monetary incentives, are based on. Mm -hmm. on, 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 on clear, mm -hmm. measurable targets. So mm -hmm. I, I think that helps mm -hmm. the financial performance and the strategy execution mm -hmm. as well. Olipek, uh, thank you very much you know, for sharing your wisdom with us and your experiences. You know. Okay, thanks, thank thanks so much.